Hello, Jennifer Priest here, and what I'm going to do today is alter a existing canvas. Um, I have some of this corrugated cardboard called Flute from Canvas Corp. I also have some uh, Canvas Corp pattern papers that I'm going to cut up. There's these really cool craft ones that have a damask a pattern. canvas flower that I'm going to alter. And then I'm also going to use some Tombow adhesives with this. And so I'm going to use the um, 3D foam tabs here. And I'm also going to use the stamp runner. All right, this is my canvas that I'm going to start with. And this is a canvas I purchased on clearance at Joann's. And it was $5.97. And if you can see, there's some marks on it. And it's not really the right color. It's kind of a peachy pink. And I am not really into that color pink. I had originally bought them for my daughter's room. And then I realized that they weren't going to work for what I wanted. So I'm actually going to alter these to use in my bathroom, which I just redid in greens and blues. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint this canvas. Alright, so this is a technique that I picked up from Christy Tomlinson. I took her class at Spark and I was really excited to see that she's using Rollograph stamp wheels in her class. So these are actually Clear Snap's first product and um, they came out in 1986 and these are the first stamp wheels. So what I'm going to do is use this with some Graphic 45 and Colorbox Decades Antiquing Ink and this is available exclusively through Hampton Art. And what's nice is this is a distress style ink pad and it has a fabric, I don't know if you can see that, it has a fabric pad. Instead of like the regular color box pads, they have um, like a felt or, or not a felt, a foam type of pad. This has a fabric pad. So I'm just going to ink up my Rollograph really good. And then what I'm using is the splatter pattern. And I'm just going to do some inking here on the sides. And just roll it around and it's okay if it's not perfect because we're just going to add texture with it and then I can change the wheel by popping that one out and I can use this little simple dots that's one of my favorite ones whoops and again I'm just going to roll my little dots on giving it some texture. It doesn't matter the direction. You can get real crazy with it if you want. And I have your wheel doing wheelies. And then the last one I'm going to do is the define it, which is all just like words and kind of a messed up uh, dictionary paper. And that'll give some nice texture there. And I don't have to clean the wheels when I'm done because all the ink came off onto the canvas. So that's a really cool bonus. All right, so I have some texture on my canvas now. And I'm going to go ahead and start working on making my um, So skirt. I'm just going to cut little triangles off of this. Whoops, that one's kind of thick. And then start layering them. And what's really nice is that you can get a lot of dimension on projects like this. You don't have to do it flat, like in your scrapbooks. And that's what I'm going to use those foam dots for. Okay, so I have my foam dots from Tombow. And these are super sticky. I really, really like them for stuff like this. 
And what I'm going to do is just start adding my layers to my dress, building from the middle out. And it doesn't matter what it looks like at the top because I'm going to add some bling there to cover any imperfections. Up. Okay, so to adhere all these tips down in the middle here, what I'm going to do is use my stamp runner and I'm just going to press it down and that's going to give me a nice dot of adhesive right there that I can stick all these tips to. If I need some more I can just whoops, put a little bit more and that's going to help hold everything together until I get my little bling center in place. And what's nice here is that I have my little ends of my um, dress here that I can kind of curl up and give a little bit more dimension to. All right, another foam. Put a little bit more stamp runner here. So what this does is it puts a little dot of adhesive. You press it and you click down and it puts a dot of adhesive wherever you want it. So instead of using like a adhesive dot, you can use this and it doesn't have the same thickness or gumminess as the adhesive dots tend to have. Oh, I didn't put my little end guy on here, my foam guy. Alrighty. A little bit. Okay, so I have my skirt and now I'm going to make my bodice. I'm actually going to put a little adhesive here. Alright, so the bodice is more of a V, so you can kind of take a piece of paper and just kind of start cutting it down. It's kind of like a little hourglass shape. Keep cutting it down until it gets to be what you want it to be. And I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on with my foam dots as well. And so this is what I have so far. All right, now I'm going to use my paintbrush to kind of hit a little bit of the edges of this dress. Just a tad. Just to give it a little bit of distressing. And you can seal this afterward with like a Mod Podge or something like that. Okay, now let's check my flower out. And I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna put my flower yet. I think it'd probably be pretty cool on the side here. All right, so I'm just gonna start laying out some of my stuff. I can use this little sash here, but I was thinking I might kind of have it going underneath my dress here. I don't know. I don't know yet. Or I might just tie a bow. We'll see. I know everybody's like, oh, how do you come up with all these ideas? And it's really just playing around and trying things and seeing what works, what doesn't work. All that kind of good stuff. I'm going to do another brush. Yeah, so I'm going to brush a little bit of paint on this guy too. And give it that added dimension. And you can roll a graph onto fabric as well. So if I wanted to add a little bit of texture on this guy, maybe some words here. So I can roll a graph some texture on there. And then I have my more distressed flower. Alright, now I'm going to go get some brown paint and we'll keep distressing. <laughs> 